my grip loosened on the bar, and I just went sailing through the air. Probably went about 20 feet, and the only thing that stopped me was the wall of the trampoline. In my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, what just happened? I have no idea where I'm at. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna land on my head? Like, what's gonna happen? Hi, I'm Julian, and today I'm gonna tell you my gymnastics horror story. When I was in my early teens, I was a competitive gymnast. I was on a, on a team uh, in New Jersey. When we would train, we would train for three hours a day, every day of the week. So I was one of seven people on the team, uh, and one day when we were training, uh, we were all stationed at different event spaces, and my coach was kind of making the rounds for each teammate, and you know, giving some like one-on-one -on -one kind of attention to, to each event. The station that I was at was the high bar. For anyone who doesn't know, the high bar is a single bar that is I guess about 12 feet in the air and you just kind of do a bunch of spins and stuff on it uh, along the way. So as I was uh, waiting for my coach to come work with me, I was just warming up uh, with a couple swings and a few giants which are a full rotation around the bar. As I was doing this, I was probably in like my third go around the bar and I felt a rip in my hand. So what a rip is, uh, for anyone who has been on the high bar or the parallel bars or anything like that, uh, probably knows a rip is when the callus is ripped completely off your hand. And then it leaves you with this giant gaping wound. Yeah, so you're just kind of like skinless um, in, in a part of your hand. It's caused by the friction on the bar if you don't use enough chalk or if you, you know, we usually use a particular kind of grip, but it didn't do its job that day, I guess. And so I got this massive rip on my hand uh, which is incredibly painful. But the worst part about it was I was, I think, at the height of my swing at that point, and it was a little shocking. So like, I, I, my grip loosened on the bar, and I just went sailing through the air. Probably went about 20 feet, and the only thing that stopped me was the wall of the trampoline, because we have above ground trampolines, and they were positioned right behind the high bar. So I smashed right into <laughs> to the wall, and then when I fell to the ground, it was of course face first and into a stool. I guess one of the coaches who was working with someone else left the stool by the trampoline, not expecting anyone was gonna go sailing through the air into it. You know, I've got pinpoint accuracy. So I went face first into this stool, which also was incredibly painful. To make matters worse, all of this unfolded, the way our gym was set up was there was a viewing window uh, in the like waiting room lobby where other gymnasts or parents of gymnasts or yeah, you know athletic scouts or anything uh, could be in this room and watch people on the floor or in the, on the bars, whatever, doing their thing. So this was a packed house and everyone just watched me slam into a wall and plant face first onto the ground. And a coach comes running out and you know, like, oh my God, are you okay, are you okay? Like thinking I broke my neck or something. And you know, I, of course I say, oh, nothing hurt but my pride. But in reality, I was like, I was in so much pain because that was, that was really a, a bad way to go. After that, I kind of like took it, took it easy for the rest of the day. But luckily, you're when you're that age, I guess you can you can bounce back and recover quickly. So I was uh, I was back on the bar in no time. But it was a cautious re-entry into the event for sure. Hi, my name is Jack, and I'm gonna tell you my gymnastics horror story. So I think I was about 14, going on 15, and I was in Michigan at the time, and I just moved gymnastics gym so I was comfortable doing gymnastics for like about like three years at this one gym that I grew up in. It was my like home gym and I decided if I wanted to be good I had to move to another gym. My first week in this gym it always I was like hey, it's gonna be great I was nervous everything and then this event happened the very first week as nobody knew who I was and all these new people were around me I was already nervous. So the event was the rings and the rings is where like you do the iron cross and all like those strength moves. Before the dismount, at the end of my routine, you go up into a handstand and you swing through the bottom and something crazy happened at the bottom of the swing. So I was in a handstand and I swung towards the bottom and the ring snapped in half and I flew like a rag doll <laughs> onto the ground. So in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, what just happened? I have no idea where I'm at. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna land on my head? Like what's gonna happen? All of a sudden I like just look up because thank God I was over one of those pits where it's like all foamy. Those things are gonna like save your life, I'm telling you. If I was on the actual mat, I think I probably would have like gotten hurt somehow, but those foam cubes are gonna save your life and they saved mine. And I look up and all of a sudden everybody's 
in the gym looking at me. I have like a thousand eyes on me. I have no idea who these people are and I'm brand new. They're like, oh my God, the new kid just broke the rings. I look around and I'm like, I don't even know what happened yet. And then all of a sudden some little kid points up at the rings and I look up and one of the rings is completely ripped in half. And these are made of like wood, so they're not supposed to break. And I've never broken any piece of equipment in my life. But this was the very first time and I was like, oh my gosh, I literally just broke the ring. And to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, am I like that heavy, that fat? Like, that's kind of crazy. All of a sudden you look over to the left and there's this big piece of ring shattered in half. And I'm like, oh my gosh. But then it was also kind of cool because I got to take it home as well. So I have a photo with like my grips that I wear and the ring snapped in half. For the first week and a half, it was kind of like, people weren't like making fun of me, but they were like, give me the look, I would say. Like, they were like judging me. I was like, oh, this person thinks I'm gonna break the, like, the next equipment. But after that, I think it actually helped with me making more friends though, for some reason, because then we had something to talk about and like, oh, you're the kid that broke the ring. And I'm like, yep, that's me, like breaks the equipment. <laughs> I think it was like an old pair of rings though, which was not my fault, hopefully. But yeah, even like the people that make the rings, they're not supposed to break. So I guess it was the right angle, trajectory, force, everything, and of course it happened to me. But it was the scariest thing I've ever had in my gymnastics career, and you never think like the equipment's gonna break on you, especially when you're in a new gym too. I was like, wow, now they think I'm gonna break all the equipment. And so for the next week, I was worried about breaking all the other events, everybody judging me, all that kind of stuff. But my head was going crazy, it was wild, and I've never had an experience like that. And I'm having like PTSD like thinking about it, it's kind of crazy but I'm praying that never happens to me again. It was definitely a cool moment and a scary moment at the same time.